Tonight, we're working to get answers for drivers and fishers who are asking the question, how do we get traffic lights changed? It comes as they are spending time sitting at an intersection waiting to turn left. Our Nicole Griffin is working for you, showing us the problem area and asking the city what can be done. If you live in Fishers, then you know 116th Street is a very busy road and some drivers tonight say they are frustrated because they are having to wait at this light here, especially during rush hour for a long time to be able to turn left on Fishers Point Boulevard. Now they want the city to make a change. This strip mall along 116th Street near Fishers Point Boulevard is filled with restaurants and businesses. Carlene Clark says they moved their store, the wine guy, to this location from 96th Street two years ago. It was just so vibrant up here. We saw so much growth and lots of building and lots of interest in this area. So we just thought that this would be a really nice place for our business to grow. But with growth comes more traffic. This post on the next door app asks, how do we get traffic lights changed? Drivers are complaining that there was no left turn signal, allowing them to turn south from 116th onto Fishers Point Boulevard. A lot of times I just run to the bank, you know, and come back and I'm sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting. If you're not the first car, uh, you're kind of out of luck making that that left hand turn. While several drivers say it is a problem, I talked to others who say with construction nearby, traffic flow on 116th Street is a must. Of course, I'm always here at lunchtime and I'm always coming from the east to the west and always turning left also. I've not seen a a big problem. But for those that are concerned, I asked the city officials what can be done. They say there are no plans to add a left turn signal at the light. My complaint is the first they've received, but now the engineering department is planning to study the intersection to see if changes need to be made. Nicole Griffin, RTV6. The city of Fisher says RTV6's complaint about the intersection is now filed into the engineering department's tracking list. They welcome everyone who lives and travels through the area to file feedback or complaints on the online request tracker.